Also getting some new insight into the ongoing personnel investigation at OU. It's been widely reported former OU President David Boren is accused of sexual harassment. News 9's Ashley Holden spoke with a local attorney about this case, and she breaks down what could come next. OU has still not confirmed that they're investigating David Bourne, but one local attorney says all signs point to the university investigating a high-ranking administrator. For the sake of the university, I, I would hope this proves not to be a truthful allegations against him. Bourne has denied any sexual harassment involving a male aide. The university has told us the Jones State Law Firm was hired for the personnel investigation and the Board of Regents is supporting current President James Gallagher, but not too much beyond that. Anything that occurred uh, which would be sexual harassment while the employee was working for the university and had to do with maybe an university, another employee or a student uh, could come under the violation of Title IX. I sat down with local attorney Irvin Box to talk about the case. He says the funds being spent reveal more about the person being investigated. They're not going to spend multi hundreds of thousands of dollars the world's largest, largest law firm uh, to investigate a lower level employee. Bourne's attorney Bob Burke told News 9 he still hasn't gotten a complaint, but Box says this isn't too unusual. I think probably the official complaint wouldn't come about until maybe the investigation is uh, as completed. Box says if the claims are true, the result could be a civil suit. But he also says the investigation might not be ending anytime soon. I think uh, we could be into maybe summertime before we know any final results. A regent told us previously that this investigation would be thorough and not rushed. Of course, we'll continue following it. In downtown Oklahoma City, Ashley Holden, Oklahoma Zone News 9.